name is Erica Carney, and I'm going to be doing my persuasion speech on stabilizing the United States economy. Growth in any economy is a good thing. Growth in general is good. But rapid or extremely fast growth is kind of a negative effect, thing. Especially today, the United States economy is growing so rapidly it's bound to fall at some point. The United States economy is rapidly growing by the day, but this country needs to stabilize before the national debt is increased, inflation rate grows, and small businesses fail, all at the cost of our president. Rapid growth in the United States seems like a good idea, but in the long run, it's going to affect a lot of different things, including businesses. Whether it's large or small, businesses are gonna have to start changing the prices on their products, anything they're selling, especially the small businesses, it's mostly affecting this. Small businesses are having to raise prices that are already high to begin with, and it's driving customers away. The prices are becoming too high, which is causing people no longer to buy their products. This is causing a lot of issues, and businesses are shutting down because of this. This is also has to do a lot with the minimum wage being increased to $15 an hour. This minimum wage increase is sparking the increase in economic products. Older employees that have been working for years to try to get to $15 an hour for raise have just done all that year's work for nothing. And now that's like starting all over, all over again because everybody's starting at 15. This is destroying our middle class. Our middle class is very frustrated and they feel as though they are going to have to pay more. The prices rising in the United States could also potentially cause a lot of debt to increase. People are under a lot of stress right now. My solution for this is stabilization. The United States needs to stabilize. This will, in the long run, help small businesses develop and grow, maybe even into larger businesses. This will also help um, the middle class. It'll cause less stress. Less stress on the middle class means more money, more money. It'll help people be able to save money, personal money, so nobody has to fear rising inflation, which is increasing rapidly. The sa when saving money, it'll also help pay off a lot of personal debt as in our country and our country's debt. Our country's debt is rapidly rising. This has to, this also goes in effect with Biden, Joe Biden's $2 trillion growth plan. Joe Biden's $2 trillion growth plan, which will go in effect in 2022 or 2023, has a lot of benefits and has a lot of negative aspects as well. According to the New York Times newspaper, um, Joe Biden states, we will become the most resilient, innovative economy in the world. This, I see your point. Okay. We are already currently $28.9 trillion in debt. Adding $2 trillion from his growth plan will cause a huge economic, um, it'll cause a huge bam, shaboom. This is also very unpopular for a lot of people because he's planning on taxing the middle and lower classes to pay for this $2 trillion growth plan, which is going to cause a lot of anger in a lot of people because they are going to be able to pay these taxes. It's going to put a lot more people in poverty. The Republican Party especially is spec spec spectacle on this. <clears throat> Rightfully so. This plan may put people in a lot of debt. However, there are benefits to Joe Biden's um, $2 trillion growth plan. This will provide new transportation and roads for the whole country, provide new medical and health center buildings, and even 
provide living spaces for people that can't afford to build one. The United States economy is rapidly growing by the day, but this country needs to stabilize. Before the national debt increases, inflation rate grows, and small businesses fail, all at the cost of our president. Joe Biden really, he sees something with this $2 trillion plan, but he needs to think of the bigger picture and not just what's going on now. Eventually, Right now, this seems like a good idea. Oh, great, we're going to grow. We're going to stable up, or we're going to be bigger and better. But he needs to look at the overall picture and imagine what is this going to do to our country in the next 30 to 50 years. It could cause us to go into another depression because what goes up must eventually come down. And especially if it's rising super quickly, it will fall just as quickly as it risen, maybe even faster. So, in the future, the future I see for our great and wonderful country is bright and warm. I see that we need to pay off this debt that we are building. It's not just the whole country's debt. It's personal debt. It's taxes. We can't pay them as well as we used to. I mean, the economy is growing too quickly. And... I envision that eventually this country becomes the most, it has the best economy in the world, but only through stabilization instead of growing super.